Hello and welcome back to your favorite channel. We have some fascinating puzzles and events to discuss today. There are only six weeks till Elizabeth and Lucas' wedding, yet it appears like the show has forgotten about it. We've been eagerly awaiting the wedding ever since Elizabeth and Lucas announced their engagement at the end of When Calls the Hurt Season 9, but aside from a few quick conversations, there hasn't been much information regarding their big day. Elizabeth doesn't seem to be considering their future as a married pair very much, with the exception of one exciting instance concerning a new house. In the most recent episodes, it has become apparent that Elizabeth's thoughts are frequently elsewhere. Particularly on Mountie Nathan, the man she rejected in season 8. It is obvious that Nathan is on her mind while she is with him, whether she is working on investigations with him or just calmly observing him as she interacts with little Jack. Is it due to heartbreaking recollections of a deceased husband, or is there another reason? Let's now turn our attention to Nathan, who is at the center of this episode's significant drama. He and Elizabeth at last told Bill about their worries about Montag and losing Madeline. Our dependable investigator Bill begins looking into the problem. Madeline and her son have disappeared, and Montag's gang is up to something on the property where he sold his soul to Madeline. Everything is pretty mysterious. When Nathan leaves for Rock Creek on naughty business is the key to the puzzle. There he encounters an angry farmer named Clifford who is in Stafford with some Pinkatons. Pinkatons and Hope Valley use Elizabeth's trouble. Nathan tries to reason with Clifford who briefly holds him hostage. Thankfully, Nathan is not seriously in danger and Clifford reveals that he has been tricked into selling his water rights to Montag's company. Suddenly, the lumber's order makes more sense. They are not for Tressel Brises as they fought power for aqueducts. He needs to be holding plans to the end. Hope Valley, Water and Senator Union City just like what they did in Eagle Creek. Hope Valley is concerned, citizens are left wondering if there's anything they can do. For now, they decide to keep this knowledge to themselves. As Lucas points out, their only advantage is that the company thinks that they don't know what's going on. So Bill, Lee, Rosemary, Elizabeth, Lucas and Nathan are all keeping their cards close to their chest. So, there you have it, hearties. While we eagerly await Elizabeth and Lucas' wedding, it seems like there are more mysteries and challenges ahead for the residents of Hope Valley. So guys before winding up remember to like subscribe and thanks for watching.